Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Vivian. I am a business software coach. If you're first time here, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Every week, I will upload one video. You will learn more about this business software related topic. And our topic for today is common inventory problem you are going to face in your business operations. Let's look at a couple of situations that frequently happen in your operations. First is the old products. Your company has too many old products on the shelf. Whether you're not using them, you're not sending them out, or you have completely forgotten about them. You don't know about them at all, or you already forgotten maybe they are going to expire very, very soon. What should you do to fix all these problems? You will need to have two things here. First, have a list of stock aging. So this stock aging, you should be able to tell you how long a product has been lying in your warehouse based on the information. You can analyze the item in your store based on the information and then liquidate them. From the stock aging, you can do the following step. How to liquidate them? First is to make all these items available as a discount item. All right, sell it as a discount item. Second is to package all these items in a bundle to resell. Third is to give away as a freebie or an incentive for promotions. Fourth is to make a sales announcement at your warehouse. Fifth is to return to your supplier for a refund or a credit if you have the options or agreement with your supplier. So besides this aging report, if your companies are dealing with the stock which they have expired date, expiration items. So get the reports to give you those items which are going to expire very, very soon on the shelf. So what you can do now is business maybe donate all this stock to charity. Not only this will also dispose of all the items, all the items is going to expire in your warehouse, but it can also eligible for tax deductions to your profit and loss accounts to the cost of those items and increase the brand name and the reputations of your company as well. So you can simply identify what is the old stock, what is the obsolete purchases while sitting on the shelf and what actions to take by using all this report and the step. Understand that and this could affect the increase in your inventory write off, you know, to your PL accounts just because you don't see it, it doesn't mean it won't happen. This occur as a result of accumulations of long stock sitting in your warehouse over time, as well as poor inventory management. So once you have identified and clear all these issue, you will be more vigilant the following times to prevent all this excess purchasing. The next time you create an aging or you create an expirations report, you should have a lot more to control of your inventory. That's all for my sharing for this common inventory problems. What to do and why you need to do, share with me and type in the message in the comments box below if you have similar challenges or maybe you have some other challenges beside this old stock issue. So as always, if you learn something new in my video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. My name is Vivian. I am a business software coach and I see you in my next video.